Hey guys, welcome here. My name is Andrew and I could not be more excited to share with you this new model for real estate called Real Broker. I'm going to do my very best today to be thorough and brief while covering what I truly hope will be the day your professional life changed forever. Uh, we're going to be covering a lot of really amazing shifts that are happening in our industry and it all falls under this, this one really great opportunity here. And uh, before I do, just a tiny, tiny little bit about me. Uh, my name is Andrew. I'm a real estate agent right near the border of uh, Canada and the U.S. in the Niagara region. Um, I have been married for 12 years. I have uh, four young kids that are loud, mighty, and crazy. Um, but other than that, I'm really a normal dude. I, I drive a minivan. Uh, I love movie nights, camping. I have a, I have a Costco executive membership. And, uh, and I love real estate. I love real estate investing. I love business and entrepreneurship as a whole. Um, but I have to say that nothing I've ever built or seen or done anything personally that really comes close to the opportunity we're going to uh, dig in here today. So just to reiterate again, <clears throat> there's nothing for you to buy here. I'm simply laying out uh, a new opportunity that's available to us as agents and inviting you to consider taking advantage of it. Uh, first things first, I need to outline the fundamental shift that's happened in our industry. And it all starts with the broker agent relationship. So let me show you what I mean by this. Uh, so nearly every brokerage uh, you know of runs the exact same way. It's all structured the exact same. It basically looks like this. Everything starts with a very large uh, international company. And that international company is going to divide the nation up into regions because the regions are going to be the salespeople to sell franchises. Okay, so now there's a franchise owner and this owner is going to take on a significant risk and he's going to buy a territory. And that owner is going to have to hire people. That owner is going to have to hire uh, a manager and the manager hires staff. And, and those people are designed to do what? recruit agents. Okay. So this, this is basically how every real estate company you've ever heard of. Uh, it doesn't matter. They're all the same. Uh, it's the model we we've been working with since, you know, the early 1900s, Coldwell Banker, Remax, Century 21, 1983, Keller Williams, all of these brokerages are functioning in a very similar way. But what got me excited was when I was talking with my buddy, Scott, and he said, Andrew, there's a whole new model. That's changing the way that we do real estate and how we, and how, where we are on this, uh, on this, uh, organization chart here. And it's a model where they've taken the agents and they've set them up as the owner. We don't have to buy anything. We don't have to do anything really different, but the positioning of us in the organization is that we're now the owner and we're going to wipe out and the, the wiping out the regions, they're wiping out the franchises. And they're wiping out the territories and the franchise staff and the managers and all saving on all of these costs. And they're going to take the international company and they're going to support the agent with staff, technology and ownership opportunities that the agents have literally never seen before. So this is the brokerage model of the future. Simply put, what you see here <clears throat> has completely flipped the tables to the agents. And this is, this is why we need to know what's going on in our industry. So what is real broker and, and what are they doing? That's so different from all of these other traditional, uh, brokerages, right? What does it, what does it ultimately end up being? Well, the best way to compare the two and is, is to, is to liken it to blockbuster and Netflix. These are two very familiar names, one more familiar in recent history than other. But this is a perfect life example of a, of a brick and mortar titan in the industry that was replaced by a cloud-based company that was able to deliver more value at a reduced rate available anytime, anywhere via the cloud, right? So Netflix goes to Blockbuster and says, we can do exactly what you're doing at the click of a button at a fraction of the cost. Netflix even tried to sell their platform to Blockbuster and Blockbuster passes. We're the big guy on the block here. And we're going to determine what happens in this industry, right? We're good with our 10,000 locations. Thank you very much. 
And we all know what happens and how that went. So, you know, in a few, few short years, the consumer realized the value of this disruptive model and there was really no turning back. Um, they traded in, everyone traded in their Blockbuster cards for Netflix subscriptions. And now Blockbuster is bust and Netflix is, you know, 250, I don't know, million users or something like that. Probably yourself, right? Um, and then there's, of course, Amazon, right? Look at Amazon. Look what they're doing worldwide. I mean, it's the largest company in the world. And I heard last year alone, they put out like 8,000 major retail chains or something to that effect. And they employ more people than any other company on the planet. How did they do it? They took the business model of their industry and they made it cloud-based. Similarly, we can look at Airbnb right? A cloud-based model for booking a stay anywhere in the world. Rather than building another huge brick and mortar empire to compete with all the other hotel chains, they moved to the cloud and turned what is in its essence a brick and mortar model and they brought it to the cloud. And now they're one of the most successful uh, accommodation companies in the world. Put it this way, Hilton is a hundred year old company that we all very well know, and it has a $25 billion evaluation. Uh, last I checked, uh, Airbnb is 10 years old and has a hundred billion, right? The, gl the growth is in the cloud-based sector, right? Look at Uber and Lyft and the bite they've taken out of yellow cab, um, or look what Spotify and iTunes have done to the music industry, right? You, we could go on and on. It, it's happening year after year, day after day, right? Every year we're seeing more industries being disrupted by cloud-based model. And that and, and that's quickly blowing away <laughs> the the existing the existing system, right? So this is what Real Broker is doing to our industry. We are a cloud-based brokerage with amazing culture and amazing agent in incentives, right? So uh, I believe this is the most exciting opportunity realtors have seen in generations. So. We have kind of four main things that we're going to highlight here that make real kind of unrivaled. Um, so number one, as we just kind of exemplified, we are cloud-based. We understand that the internet is changing the world around us, providing new ways to operate and deliver value. There's, there's much more value in transferring the wealth from the franchises directly to its agents than having brick and mortar offices in today's digital world. Um, Agents from around the world, they operate on, they operate on their phones. They operate on their laptops. They're at listings. They're at properties, right? We're not, we're not doing a lot in our offices anymore. And, uh, right. So what does it mean to be a cloud-based brokerage? What does it, what does it look like? Well, basically there's, there's no desk fees. There's no franchise fees. Uh, our splits and cap are incredible. Uh, we can work from anywhere in the world. Our brokerage is worldwide right? There's no region where we put those X's through. Um, and we have instant access to training support, way less expensive, <laughs> no expensive leases, uh, means that they can offer us agents incentives to be a part of the company and to do well here. Right. And the other thing too, is that we, we own the cloud. There's no debt in the cloud. We don't have to heat the cloud, clean the cloud, replace the espresso machine, buy printer paper, Right, all the things that we re-roof the cloud, snow plow, whatever. Right, insurance. There's a lot and lot of increasing every year expenses in running a physical office space that we don't have to compete with. Um, operating in the cloud also provides convenience and opportunity for us to work fast, for us to work smooth, and far less ad adaptation drag for. Um, we don't have to bring anything over to the cloud and start, you know, how do agents, you know, what are agents looking for in the future? How are we operating? Right. The whole thing is built for the modern agent. And uh, yeah, this is, this is a key component and a big part of, of why we're able to do what we're going to do. And because we're cloud-based, it means we, we need to have a strong integration with technology, obviously. Now, Reel's done an incredible job of bringing the power of technology to the brokerage model, allowing agents to work very you know, efficiently and freely and do more in less time. Now, if you're not a techie person, I, I hear you, I'm with you sometimes, 
Um, and this all sounds very daunting. Fear not. Uh, if, if you know how to send an email, if you know how to use Facebook or you know how to open an app on your phone, you're going to be just fine. Real has done an amazing job at making this all very simple and easy to use. Real has built their own app that will essentially manage and give you access to nearly everything you need to know about your business at any time in a few clicks. Um, it, 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 you can access your transactions anywhere in the world, your listings, your documents, um, how, how much you've paid towards your cap, how much revenue share you have, all this stuff, reach tech support or your broker, all within one app click there you are so if you know how to do those things like if you if you don't own a you know a smartphone maybe there's some stuff we need to catch you up on but everyone else is going to be just fine most agents that are producing any sort of uh transactions are going to be just fine uh, another thing is we, we use workplace by facebook uh, it looks like facebook acts like facebook it connects people like facebook um, it, it is a separate platform, so it is not Facebook, but it's by Facebook. And there's n there's going to be no uh, learning curve to using that if you're familiar with Facebook. Um, we use Skyslope as our pa paperless transaction management. Uh, all of our documents are uploaded there, and it just does an amazing job of allowing us to access our documents and upload them from anywhere at any time. The third thing is equity and stock in the company. Remember, this is an agent owned brokerage. We are not at the bottom anymore. We've been moved up to, uh, to, to being owners in this company. And this is huge. This is a big deal. We get into, we will get into this in a bit more detail shortly, but for now, just know that we are owners in this company and it makes a big difference. And we're going to get into that. And then the fourth one is maybe the most exciting. We're going to save it for the end, but we have revenue share. Because you're an owner, you get to share in the revenues. At no point during my time at Remax did I share in the revenues of Remax International. But here's a chance to not only become a shareholder of the company you work at, but also share in the revenues of the company. This is something you're, you're just never going to find at a traditional brokerage. And this has the undeniable power to change your professional and financial future forever. I, I'm very excited for number four here, and we're going to save it for the end. So let's cover the basics. <clears throat> this is the usual method of comparing brokerage. So we're going to get the apples to apples out of the way so we can dive into all the other fruits in the bowl that you might have never heard of before. So our split is 85-15. Your cap is just $12,000 and you, and after you pay your cap, you move to a hundred percent commission split. Okay. So I believe my, my last, uh, split was 70, 30 and my cap was somewhere in the low 20,000s, 24,000. Um, and then after that, I was on a 95, five for the remainder of after I capped. Um, so for me, I gave myself an instant pay raise of about $12,000, uh, just based on my cap. Plus, never mind after I capped the commission that I was able to keep at a hundred percent, right? There was no 5% after that. So it was 12,000 in my pocket and then 5% on every transaction that I did after that. So let's say you're doing, uh, you're on a 95, five from the whole year and you do 500,000 in gross commission. You're looking at about $25,000 a year. Um, that you would net as an agent and that's every year, right? So for me, this was a great shift to start things off. Um, it's very competitive. Ultimately, I mean, this, again, this is the apples to apples. It doesn't matter where you are, how long you've been in, in the industry, whether you just got licensed or you're the top producer in the country, we're all equal here. Everyone has the same stuff here. Uh, the only difference is for teams. The team leader has the same as what I just mentioned, um, but team members, uh, have a $6,000 cap and then hundred percent thereafter, and they have a minimum 25% team member split to the leader. Okay. There's no monthly fees, no desk fees, no franchise fees, no E and O fees. Um, we're one big brokerage. Remember that? So there's, there's no franchises or regions, no broker owners, no, nothing like that. Um, we have a one-time $249 initial signup fee. And then every year we have a $1,200 annual brokerage fee and that you pay uh, of your first three transactions. Um, after you cap, after you pay the 12, 
thousand dollars and there is a transaction fee of 225 dollars and that's it so if you don't sell a house for a month for whatever reason it, there's no cost to you it doesn't cost you anything it's very affordable and very simple um yeah so i mean other than that if you have any questions obviously we can dig into that uh in a call together um yeah that's uh that's pretty much it so let's talk about stocks right? Real Broker is a publicly traded company. You can look up our stocks. Our ticker is R-E-A-X. We're traded on the NASDAQ, which is no small feat, by the way. Being on the NASDAQ is a big deal. Ringing the bell. Um, and uh, our stock has been growing like crazy. Like I think last year was about 850%, something like that. There was a little dip in the market lately, but I'm sure it'll pick back up. Um, Anyways, so anyone with a trading account can buy or sell our stock. Um, in fact, we are listed as one of the top uh, penny stocks or whatever. I don't even know what the definition of a penny stock is, but uh, one of the top stocks for us, for people, the, the public to keep a real close eye on and consider investing in, which is really exciting. Um, but we as agents can earn it for free. We can buy it at a, or we can buy it at a discounted rate. So let's walk you through the four ways in which we uh, earn stocks here at Real as agents. Number one, we pay for them, but we only pay for them sort of. This is the only way in which any amount of our own money is going towards stock. Uh, all the other ones are free, and, and even this one comes with, with free stock rewards. Okay, so how you do this as an agent here at Real is that you, when you're opting, you can opt into it when you're signing your ICA with the company. It's just a little checkbox. And when you do that, um, Real will withhold 5% of your commission to purchase company stock. Once you've had those for one year, Real is going to contribute 25% additional shares to your portfolio at no charge to you. So it's 25% bonus if you opt in for that. Now, after you cap, there's another option to have 10% withheld for um, for a maximum of $15,000 annually. It's not forever. Um, and after one year of contribution of that effect, you will have an additional 50% shares to your portfolio. Again, this is completely optional, but I honestly don't know anyone who's not taking advantage of this fantastic new revenue stream that most agents have literally never seen as an option before. Like if you, if you were to go to a financial planner, they would tell you, give me your money. And if you want a medium risk, you're looking at about 10% return at the end of the first year, right? And a good, a good one should be able to get that for you. They might not though, right? How'd you like to get 25% guaranteed your first year? Or how about 50%, right? So that is called our stock purchase plan. I can tell you that I know many agents who in the last few years or even one year have made enough money through their stock options to pay their houses off entirely. All by just doing their regular real estate job. It's, it's impressive. It's impressive. Uh, number two, this one's quite simple. Um, there's no obligation, but when you sponsor an agent, any agent that joins the company is, is, has to point to someone who brought them into the company, right? And there's no obligation, but if you love the company as much as most of us do, you probably won't be able to shut up about it. Um, so how this works is that any agent that joins Real, they have to name a sponsor, right? The person who told them about the company, and if that person is you, you're going to get a few hundred shares um, when they close their first transaction at Real. So. If you share this video or, you know, you talk to 15 agents and 10 of them join, that would be about three and a half thousand shares in your bank account. It, if that was you last year, those shares, those shares alone from 10 people would be worth for sure, for sure, five figures, maybe even six. Like that's a, it's a whole other retirement just for those. The stocks are going crazy right now. Sign me up. Sign me up. So good. So good. Okay. Are you guys with me? Number three, we get stock when we cap every year. So when you reach your $12,000 cap, Real says, hey, Andrew, you're a rock star. Here's uh, another, I think it's 750 shares. 
And I'll say, thank you so much because I cap every year and mo most active agents do too. So that's just a little bonus there as well. And then the last one, this is the absolute I mean, best option here. The last one is when you reach elite stats. This is when you complete about 35 transactions a year. And when this happens, you're going to get, wait for it, you're going to get your $12,000 cap back. Pause for effect and get an additional $4,000 for a total of $16,000 in company stock. If you reach elite agent status, which is about 35, 35 transactions in your calendar year, you are going to get your cap back plus $4,000. And in addition to that, if that doesn't blow your socks off, if you reach this level of sales, you're going to be able to contribute to teaching other agents in our classes at the Real Academy right? These are done through like Zoom calls or Google Meet or Facebook or whatever. And if you are willing to contribute to the Real Academy teaching, that unlocks another $8,000 in company stock. So we're looking at a total of $24,000 in company stock that's available for elite agents. And that's every single year that renews. And the cynics here in the room will say, yeah, well, you don't know what that stock's going to be worth in three years because there's a three-year vesting period on those stock awards. And I would say, sure, you're right, you know, but I know what the trophies and the plaques are worth after 20 years at my last brokerage, right? And I'm going to take my chance on, <laughs> on $24,000 worth of potential stocks worth $1, right? Let alone $10. Right. So if history repeats itself and this stock does what people are expecting it to do in the next three years, that stock will not just be worth $16,000. That won't be $16,000 worth of stock. It could very well be a lot more six figures. Right. And again, I'm, I'm, I'm no, I'm no guru. I'm no stock guy. I'm not making any predictions. I'm not saying anything, but if, if, and it's happened before and it might happen again, if these stocks are worth $1 each at the end of 10, 20, 30 years of a career, that's a ton of money sitting in your account that you did not earn. You would have never, you will have never seen that amount of money, that money ever again at, at, at any traditional brokerage that goes in and it disappears here. You have the chance to earn it back. It was at this point when I really began to wonder why I was paying my brokerage so much for the value I was maybe getting, right? Traditional brokerages just can't offer you these things. There, there's too much overhead. Flipping this model and moving to the cloud gives, gives you everything you see here. You want to see my office? Here it is. This is my office. This computer I'm on, this is my office. This is how I run multiple successful businesses from right here at real, you're going to get ownership in the company you work for. Stop renting your brokerage. This is one of those, those unicorn moments in the world, like Facebook, Amazon, Google, right? I'm not projecting that we're going to be as big as those companies, but this is huge and it's happening in our industry. People, this is for us. This is our time. And you can be right in the middle of it all while continuing, all while continuing your real estate career, selling real estate, doing what you do. You can see that, uh, that our stock has grown significantly in the last year and carries a lot. We actually carry a larger market cap right now after four years than Remax global. I think our market cap is about half a billion, something to that effect. Incredible. So not only is it really exciting that your brokerage would give you back $16,000 every year as an elite agent, but look at what happens if those stocks were from last year. Last year, our stock grew by 850%, meaning if you were in real age, a real agent and you closed 35 transactions and, and you got your, your $16,000 stock award, that would be valued today at, a, at 100 dollars $36,000 at the time of this recording, at the time of this recording, this is not hypothetical. I'm not, you know, projecting this is people 
who were at Rio last year, who were elite agents, they experienced what you're seeing here. And it could be less and it could be nothing, right? Let's say it grows nothing, not 850, it grows nothing. It's still $16,000. I love it. It's worth a lot more than the trophies, a lot more than the plaques. The reality is though, is that no one can predict the future of or growth of a stock. And I'm not doing that here, let me be clear. But the outlook looks great. But what if the stock doesn't grow? In fact, what if it dips and just sits at around one buck? Well, for one, I can tell you that whatever happens, I, I'm going to take my chances, right? Thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of dollars in stock options is better than no options at all, right? I mean, even at the end of 10 years, right? If you're at the end of 10 years, your shares are only worth $1 each. That's $160,000 in my bank account. Whereas at my last brokerage, that would be 230,000 in their bank account, right? Just that separation alone. That's massive. It takes $230 just to get to zero, $230,000. Here we can see a five year, five to 25 year growth chart of a $1 stock that never grows. It's not hard to compare a continual building of equity to a continual expense and see that separation grow. $16,000 in, 10, 20, $30,000 out every year will create a very big gap over time. Over 25 years, this would equal nearly a million dollars. And that's if it's a dollar a share. If it's $2 a share, it's $2 million, right? Remember, the cap that you pay now will never be recouped. It is your monthly rent. If you have tenants, if you're a real estate investor and a slash realtor, like a lot of us are, it's your rent, right? Your rent goes in, puts in the pocket of your landlord, and that's the end. But cap at real can be earned back and grow at, a, at the very least. It can, it can grow or at the very least it's in your bank account. And uh, yeah, it could be worth a lot more, especially over a long productive career. All right, so that's stocks. Next, we're gonna get into revenue share. Are you excited? Are you, are you hearing? Are you hearing what is happening in our industry? If you're exciting, if you're excited, just wait. If you're like, let's get this done. Come on, come on, come on. No, patience, young grasshopper. This is going to be big, okay? You're my, if this clicks, you're not sleeping tonight, I promise. I haven't slept in three months because I'm so excited about this. Everything I've told you thus far is impressive, but it's, it's too easy to breeze past the first time you hear it. When I understood the power of revenue share, it literally blew my mind. And I, like I said, I, I could not sleep. So let me explain what revenue share is all about and what we're looking at here. We have a five tier system that our founder Tamir copied from EXP who copied it from Keller Williams. Uh, KW started a seven tier system, um, but they do something a bit different called profit sharing where if the pro if the office is profitable, you can share in the profits of that office. Um, the issue here is that KW offices are businesses and like you and I, they have to pay taxes and minimizing profits means minimizing taxes. It also means minimizing what you pay to your agents in profit share. Um, so I know an agent who worked at uh, KW and they really, really, they did a great job with what they call their profit sharing tree all the way down seven tiers. And he was making about $750 a month passive, which is more than nothing, but it's not enough to change your life, right? Um, now, the agents that brought me to Remax or my buddy to Century 21 or maybe you to wherever you're at, um, they made their brokerages lots of money, especially if you're a good agent. They get paid 20, 30, 40 times, a 100 times a year. And, uh, you know, how are you compensated, right? So to, here we're going to break down the compensation model. The truth is that if you're going to do well at, at, at real estate, you're going to attract agents. And unfortunately, you probably will never get paid much of anything from it ever, right? Let's stop giving away the golden goose for free. Stop. You know what's worth much more than a million dollar listing? It's the agent. The agent that produces those million dollar listings every single year. And we're giving them away for free. So we're like, here, 
this is my buddy. He's, you know, come on over. To, for me, it was come on over to Remax. Come on over to Sotheby's. Come over to Century 21. Whatever it is. Colwell Banker, right? He, you know, he's, he's, he's a new agent. He sells 10 homes a year. Well, that's 10 times that they get paid, you know, five, six million dollars, whatever, in revenue every year, year after year. Maybe it grows, it grows, it grows. And now they're doing 30 deals. Now they're doing 60 deals. What are you getting compensated for bringing that agent in? So here we have a chance to be compensated for bringing that golden goose over to our brokerage, Real Broker. Real believes that agents should be compensated for that. And so this is how it works. The middle column here, it adds up, as you see at the bottom, it adds up to $12,000. That's our $12,000 cap. Real has decided that they're going to carve off the first $4,000 from their portion, from their split, and give it to the agent that directly brought them into the company. Our brokerage has realized that the agents are the ones that are truly growing the brokerage. And so they're going to give you right off the top $4,000 personally, after you personally refer an agent and they cap, which is in most markets, five, six homes a year. If, what, if they ha what if they happen to only do a half cap, right? Well, then you get half of the 4,000, you get 2,000. What if they only do two homes a year, like a quarter cap? Then you would only get about $1,000. Right. So every time they sell a home before they cap and go to a hundred percent commission split, you're going to get paid revenue share the following month, month after month after month. As long as you're both at real, you're going to get paid a portion of the company's revenue that that agent produces. You're going to get paid five years from now for agents you bring with you today. Now, and this is all very important. Any revenue share that ever is earned comes from the brokerage's 15% of the split. It never comes directly from any agents. No agent will ever pay another agent a dime. This is our brokerage using their portion of the split, the split we all pay no matter what brokerage we're at. And they say, we're going to compensate the agents for growing this amazing company. I love it. I love it. Okay. So how much do agents get? Okay, so let's look at the whole chart. How does this all work here? Well, like we said, on your first tier, tier one, those are the agents you personally referred. You're gonna receive up to, if they cap and do five to six transactions a year, $4,000 per agent. So if you tell 10 agents about this and they all cap, that would be 10 times 4,000, which is $40,000. If five of them cap and five of them half cap, that would be $30,000. Well, a top producer agent's gonna say, oh man, I work in Toronto, New York, San Francisco. That's not, that's not that much money. I could make that in a few transactions, right? One transaction even, yep, for sure. For sure, you totally could. But can you do this? If those agents stay the next year at Real Broker, they're gonna pay you again. So you're gonna get $4,000, $40,000 the first year and then $40,000 the second year, yep. So now you've received $80,000 for referring 10 agents. And what if they stay a third year? You get it again. And how about a fourth year? You get it again. Well, when does it stop? It never stops. If they stayed for 10 years, you would get $40,000 a year for 10 years. $400,000 for referring 10, count your fingers, capping agents. Again, in most markets, that's like six to seven homes a year, something like that. Major cities could be like one, two, three, but it doesn't stop there, guys. Keep in mind, every agent you tell is going to begin to tell agents that they know. They won't be able to stop. You won't be able to stop them. This is how every real estate brokerage becomes what they are today, right? If you like your brokerage, someone asks you, hey, how do you like your brokerage? I'm thinking about a switch. You're gonna say, yeah. Century 21 is great. Remax is awesome. How are you compensated for that? If you bring over that golden goose, what does your brokerage do about it? Do you even get a thank you card? Maybe a coffee? See, at Real, we have compensation for contribution. If you contribute to the growth of this company, you are going to be compensated. And here's how it works. Here's how it works. 
Everyone you tell is on your tier one. You see tier one there. Everyone that they tell is on your tier two. Everyone that they tell is on their tier three and tier four and then tier five. Keller Williams created this 25 years ago. They've been doing profit sharing for 25 years, except lately, I mean, if you work there, you know how it is. It, it, it really is. Let's just say it's just really expensive to run an office and we'll leave it at that. So if, if, if we take a look at the last column here, this is showing you that if you have 10 or more agents, it unlocks tier two. Okay. So you need to have one agent to be in the $4,000 tier. But as soon as you get to 10 agents on your tier one, you unlock tier two. Okay. If you personally tell 15 or more agents, it unlocks tier three. If you tell 20, tier four. And finally, if you have 25 agents that you've personally sponsored, you unlock all tiers, five tiers. So let me show you what happens if you just get paid on two tiers. We're talking if you could personally bring in over the next, let's say five years, how much this could look, what this could look like in theory. Five, this is a five year plan. You might do it in three, you might do it in six, right? You might do it in six months. You never know, right? Like you can do this as quickly or as long as you would like. Let's say you tell two agents per year over the next five years. You're now receiving $4,000 an agent times 10 agents. And that's the $40,000 that we were talking about. Now, again, if they stay the next year and sell six more homes, that's another $40,000, right? This is recurring annually, right? Assuming that they're producing. Okay. But what I didn't tell you was that these agents are going to tell agents. Let's say the 10 agents that you tell, um, all tell two agents per year. And at the end, they all tell 10 agents each. Well, 10 times 10 is a hundred agents. And for every agent on your tier two, Real is going to give you $3,200 per agent if that agent caps, right? So if you have a hundred there, that's $320,000 plus the 40 on your tier one, that's $360,000 per year of residual income. Now what actually happens is that 10 don't actually go all and bring 10. How it works is it's more like one of them gets 40, one of them gets 30, one of them gets 20, maybe one gets 10 and then six don't bring anyone, but those six aren't going to leave because they love our stock split fees, teamwork, training, you know, flexibility, all that kind of stuff. Right. I don't know about you. I've made a lot. I've been very fortunate in my life and I've made a lot of really great investments. I own real estate, I have stocks, different investments and businesses running, but I don't have, <laughs> I don't have anything that gives me $360,000 a year cash flow. And, and guys, this is just looking at two tiers with 10 to start. Maybe you have a team of 10 and literally day one, things are kind of rolling on the tier two system here. There's no limit to what these numbers can be. You don't know what's going to happen down the tree of five generations. So let me paint a picture real quick here, just to kind of hit this all home. Um, let's flesh this out a bit. So here you are, you're listening today and you've decided to join. You're getting excited about this. You see the future is brighter and you like to trade in your blockbuster card for a Netflix subscription. And uh, you make the switch and let a few of your close buddies know that you're making the switch and explain your reasons why. Hey, I'm over and real. What's that? Well, let me tell you. A few months go by and you find that you've shared this with a number of agents. And after a few years of just doing your regular life, you've got 10 agents that have joined Real Broker. And they're pointing to you. They're saying, whatever you're filling your name here, um, kind of showed me this and it was really exciting. And I thought, Hey, I'm going to give that a shot, right? All of a sudden your brokerage is paying you $40,000 a year, completely unrelated to your transactions and life is good. You've you already told your closest friends in the industry. And so you decide, yeah, what the heck? I'm just going to focus on my real estate business. Meanwhile, another year passes and it turns out that your 10 friends without your knowing have all invited two of their closest friends. What? Come on, you weren't even a, you weren't even aware that this was happening, especially because you didn't tell anyone this year. You were like, I'm gonna hunker down and work on my real estate business. I already told my 10 closest people and, or what, 15, 20, half of them joined, whatever. And uh, now you look up and you, turns out your brokerage is paying you nearly $100,000 a year for sharing with 10 agents, 10 of your buddies. 
Well now, okay, so now you're getting excited, right? Your colleagues in the industry are starting to notice your success, you're taking a family vacation, you got time to do so because this passive income is really helping with your ability to be a little bit more free with your time to take a breath. Well, it's fair to assume that when agents share something, hear something like this, they're going to want in. They're going to want to begin sharing it too. And another year passes and it turns out those agents who brought two agents also have, hey, two friends. And again, without even being aware of what you've started, the snowball is rolling and things are going better than ever. You know, you're not looking at your bills anymore each month. You know, you're not concerned that you just sold three houses and don't have another one lined up for this next month. Your expenses are taken care of and you're delivering better service now that you're not, you know, grubbing for money and you know, need to get a sale. Not only that, but now you have money to put into your real estate business, marketing, whatever, whatever get a transaction coordinator or, you know, a few extra agents or some additional billboards, whatever you want to do, because revenue share is fueling this. Well, things don't just stop because they're going better than you planned. In fact, all the craziness continues and those agents share with two agents of their own. Not only that, but the company opens up a new province, you know, an agent there, and now your team's growing in another province, state, or country even. Those 10 little sparks have started larger fires and those fires are starting to cast sparks of their own, right? Another year goes by and those agents have all brought in two friends of their own. Now things are just getting ridiculous, right? This is, it just looks ridiculous. These numbers look ridiculous. To me, they looked ridiculous. This is the most amazing year in business maybe you've ever seen or could have ever asked or imagined, right? And there's no end in sight. Now you find yourself making, what would it be? It's like half a million dollars a year in residual income, all from telling these agents. Now to get to these tiers, you'd have to unlock a few more people in your tier one. I get it. Um, but just for the sake of simplicity here, we're, we're going to keep rolling. Um, so you tell a few agents and look, you don't know who's coming down those tiers. This is change. And the best thing is maybe you're doing $44,000 a month passive. And maybe a lot of the team members are doing that half that twice that who knows, right? So good. It's not hard to sell people about something that really works and invite them to take into the, take in the spoils with you. We're just looking at four generations here. This is just four tiers. There's a fifth tier, right? And what happens when those agents all just bring one friend, not even two friends on average, it's two friends. Just so you know, you might hear something different, but in reality, if you look at the stats, it's about two friends. A lot of people don't bring any, and a lot of people bring 10. Um, again, this is an average. It could be more than this. It could be less than this, right? If they all brought one friend with them, this is where the, this is where it starts to really build. You could be looking at a passive income of over $65,000 a month, every single month. This is amazing. These are for capping agents and these things grow. This is new. This is bottom. This is ground floor guys. There are going to be tons of people that want to take advantage of this. And you have the opportunity here to hear about it first. This is life changing stuff. I was talking with some really incredible leaders in our industry the other month. I was just saying, why would any agent pass on these opportunities? I don't understand. And they all agreed that eventually every agent is going to adopt to this, but it's those that see the writing on the wall that are going to truly experience the greatest growth because of what we just saw in that little person, right? This is the changing of the old guard. The blockbusters are losing ground and the agents are starting to catch wind of it. We're starting to reach that critical mass point and it won't be long until every agent is partnering with their brokerage in this way. I guarantee it. I'll bet the farm. It's no longer going to be a top down system. We are one big fire and this is spreading fast. All right. So let's, uh, let's recap here. I know we've covered a lot. Number one, we have a very competitive 85, 15 split until you cap at $12,000 and then you move to hundred percent from then on. Okay. $12,000 cap, hundred percent after it's $12,000 cap is the funding pool that real uses for its revenue share of the five tier platform. An amazing opportunity for us to be continually paid long after our last transaction. This is retirement stuff too, guys. This is retirement stuff too, not just for tomorrow. It's for ever. 
okay? Number three, real is huge on rewarding agents through stocks. We have four different ways in which agents can earn free stock, including earning more than your entire cap back every single year. This allows you to com you know, compound five figures into your retirement account every year, rather than seeing that money disappear into brokerage expenses. Number four, we have no desk fees, no franchise fees. Uh, we're one big global brokerage. So you no longer are confined to even the franchises or your region. Number five, we're mobile, right? Effectively and efficiently run your business from any, from your device anywhere in the world at any time. This includes technology like Facebook and our workplace by Facebook and uh, our real app. We've got a unique custom made real app. That's really slick. Um, sky slope for paperless transactions, all this stuff. It's really, it works really well. It was built for this and it's working really, really well. Very streamlined, very efficient, very helpful for the modern agent. Uh, number six, this one's huge. If you want to expand your business by building a team, there has never been an easier way to do so right here. You can build an international team without any of the broker costs or the liability. You just need to tell people about the opportunity, bring them into the company and start. I mean, if you want to train them to be the best agents possible and then to go and do that themselves as well, if they want, if they want to, you don't have to. Number seven, add an additional four to five income streams, which we've just kind of highlighted overnight to your business. Every good business leader knows that you need to have multiple income streams to build great wealth. You can't have all your eggs in one basket. It needs to be diversification to some effect. And the average millionaire is leveraging seven streams of income. How many do you have? And lastly, join the team model. We're financially incentivized for you to watch videos like this, to learn about an opportunity and for you to do well and come into this, right? Turn your competition, what's traditionally a competition and turn them into your business partners. And all of a sudden we're going to start seeing explosive growth together faster. Fantastic. All right. So maybe you're totally sold. Maybe I had you at hundred percent, you know, commission split, or maybe it was the stocks. You're like, Oh man, this is amazing. And maybe it took you all the way to revenue share for you to fully buy it. If so, that's awesome. Be prepared to lose some sleep tonight and book a call so we can work together on getting your license over here, right? There's no buy now. You just need to move your license over, continue doing the same thing you've ever done, right? Maybe you're still on the fence though. And if that's the case, that's totally fine. All you did today was educate yourself on another option available to you. You weren't aware of. Maybe you need to think long and hard about it because you love your brokerage. That's totally great. We want you to love your brokerage, but I also want you to know, see the other opportunities that are available to you, right? So if you're on the fence, I found it helpful to ask these questions that you see here, right? Questions like how much is the office contributing to my overall success as an agent, right? Do I need an office? How many clients do I bring to my office? A lot of people, it's, it's about the office, cloud-based office. I don't know. Right? How much is it costing me to have that as an option? Could you afford to rent one if you had a lower cap or run a hundred percent or had revenue share or had stock options? Could you afford to do something maybe different? What value is your current brokerage offering you that you're not going to get here at real? Is there, is there a difference pros cons, right? What's the difference in split cap fees? If you were to repeat last year, this year, how much more would you net? Is that worth it to you? Maybe number four, maybe you're a skeptic and that's totally okay. I actually am too. I do not fall for things quickly. Everyone's got their guard. I got my guard up since you want to sell me something, but there came a point where I woke up and I asked myself, even if everything in this model is a complete flop, the stock sucks, the revenue shared sucks. The splits are not that helpful, whatever, even if all that didn't work out. How would that be any different than what I'm getting at my brokerage now? For me, I was already there. There was no ownership. There was no great agent rewards. I had a larger cap, larger split, um, franchise fees to boot. I was already there and I only stood to gain. So even if everything else sucked, I was, I, like I said, I was coming out on top that way. Uh, number five, this is a good one. What percentage of your clients work with you? 
because of your relationship with them or the personal brand and marketing that you've put together compared to the brokerage that you're associated with. I know for me, when I switched, my clients didn't even notice, nor did they remember who I was with to start. My production didn't increase and you know who noticed? Agents. And that turned out to be a win for both of us in the end. <laughs> so the reality is guys, as we wrap up here, that the industry is changing and it's gonna be changing with or without you. It's not gonna be overnight, but it's happening fast and the writing is on the wall. And there is an amazing opportunity here to be the first generation in this new era of how real estate is gonna be done worldwide. Time and time again, we've seen brick and mortar companies fail to adapt and fall to a cloud-based company that simply delivers more value to their clients. Netflix did it, Uber did it, Airbnb, Spotify, iTunes, Amazon, the list goes on, right? And now it's happening in our industry and it's good. It's for you. The tables are being turned. The wealth is being transferred to us instead of owners. It's being dispersed among all the agents that are working so hard. And this was a choice that we never had a few years ago. And the truth of the matter is people that understand and like that people who understand what it's like to work with people understand what it's like to work with a cloud-based company, right? Streaming and shopping online is normal. Their social lives are online and heck even their house shopping is online now like virtual tours. People are online. They get it. Your clients, even if they even care, aren't going to be as shocked as you think, right? They get it. And honestly, most of them aren't going to even notice. So as we close here today, let me ask you a question. Where are you going to be in five years? Are you going to be doing commercial real estate, residential, luxury? Are you going to be selling 30 homes, 40 homes? You want to build a team, 80, 150, 400. What's your goal for yourself? I know for myself, I don't want to be in my late fifties going to another you know, grinding out, going out to another listing agreement and or listing presentation. I don't want to be on the hamster wheel. I want to have options. Life is short and life is fragile and you need to have an exit strategy, right? Without a dream, you can't have a dream come true. If you fail the plan, you plan to fail. Wait. Yeah. If you fail the plan, you plan to fail. If you don't do anything, nothing's going to change, right? Maybe you've been doing this for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, and enough's enough, and you just want to change. I challenge you to do your homework on Real Broker. Watch this video again. Watch it with your wife, your husband. Go to your best friend, your buddy in real estate. Watch this together and get their opinion on this. Show this and say, I want you to save me for making a big mistake. I should also mention, do not explore this with your current broker owner, brokerage. More often than not, agents are terminated on the spot for even considering this. And you might not believe, you might not believe me. I didn't believe when I was told that. I was like, no, 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 my, I got to, I'm buddies with my bro. No, I just, I just talked to a buddy, KW terminated eight high producing agents without warning when they heard that they were exploring this model. I myself was canceled, dropped on the spot after believing the best in my bro broker and I found myself scrambling. So don't tell the, like, keep this, keep this to yourself. So if everything's checking out here and you've decided that you're ready to go, head over to joinreal.com and apply, go through this application process. It, it's very important to do this early. This is what the application process looks like. I can help you with this. If you need any help or, you know, direction with this, when you get there, some basic information and it takes a day or two for real to send out an approval letter. They are going to vet you. They are going to vet you. Um, what they are not going to do is they're not going to move your license. They're not going to be contacting your broker. This is very private between you and real broker, but make sure you do this because when you join, you're going to have two listings going live, a buyer lined up an offer being written up. It's crazy, right? You got to have your ducks in a row so that you, and, and you want to have those new, that new commission land in your new brokerage. So that could, cause that could be half your cap right there. Right? So make sure you get your ducks in a row, make sure that you, you know, get this all lined up. Um, and then when you join us, you'll be joining your company, our company. This isn't Gary Keller's company or Warren Buffett's company. This is a company that is yours and yours to be proud of. 
So I hope this has been valuable to you guys today. If you're still on the fence about it and want to know more, schedule a call, bring a friend. We'll sit down and go over all the details together. We'll have a coffee over Zoom or in person if that works. Um, and we will discuss anything that you want to talk about. I am a no pressure dude. What I want is for your life to change and for you to have options down the line and today for financial freedom. Awesome, guys. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, you know how to reach me. Have a good one.